Welcome to Tiger King's YouTube channel. Today, I will show you basic 5 layoff skills. Looking behind my 20 years experience as a welder, there was a big turning point around 7 years ago. I gave up all privileges as the best lead hand welder and left to learn fabrication skills. That was my best decision ever in my welder career. I have grown up a lot since I learned fabrication skills as well as layout. That's why I recommend you to learn them because it has only advantages. Better chances to be hired. Many shops prefer to hire welders with fabrication skills. Imagine you can weld only and I can weld and fabricate anything. Who will be hired with a high rate? Easy to become self-employed. There is no job that only requires welding. You should know how to measure, how to lay out, how to fabricate, how to join and weld, and how to polish. Of many layout skills, I will show you two things for the pipe layout. How to find the center line of a pipe, and how to lay out any angle of a pipe. These are mostly used when you build a pipe spool. Most spools have branches, welder leads, or thread leads. We have to lay off the pipe to add these parts. For your easy understanding, I made a simple sketch and I will show you how to lay out step by step. I have to add three welder leads on the pipe. One is on the top and three inch apart from the pipe end. Second one is 73 degrees apart from the top and seven and a half apart from the pipe end. The last one is 68 degrees apart from the top and five and a half apart from the pipe end. How to find pipe center. First, pipe should be leveled. Leveling is the first step for layout. Okay, the pipe is leveled and let me show you how to find the pipe center line. Second, find pipe outside diameter. It is a three and a half inch size pipe. Three and a half doesn't mean its outside diameter is a three and a half. You have to measure it to get a real pipe outside diameter. I use a tape measure and move up and down to read the longest measurement. I read 4 inches is the longest measurement. Let's take a look at the pipe dimension chart to double check. First column is pipe size, second column is pipe outside by inches. As you see, 3 and half inch pipe outside diameter is 4 inches. Mark the half of outside diameter on the square. Place the square and the level. Make the top face level and mark the half OD. Repeat this on the other side of the pipe. Draw a line connecting two marks. This is how to find the center and mark center line of the pipe. Next, I will show you how to find the 73 degree location. Using a circumference tape measure, I find the pipe circumference. I start from 100 millimeter and wrap it around the pipe. The circumference is 419 millimeter. But you have to minus 100 millimeter because I started from 100 millimeter. The real circumference is 319 millimeter. The circumference of the three and a half pipe 
is 319 millimeter and the outside diameter is 101.6 millimeter. Now it's time to find out the distance per degree. If I can calculate this, I can mark any angle on the pipe. The distance per degree can be calculated by dividing the circumference into 360 degrees. The circumference 319 divided into 360 is 0.886. The distance per degree is 0.886 mm. The second weld is three, uh, 73 degrees apart from the pipe center line. The third one is 68 degrees apart. 73 multiplied by 0 0.886 is 64.5 mm. 68 multiplied by 0 0.886 is 60 mm. Mark 64.5 mm for 73 degrees and draw a line connecting two marks. Mark 60 mm for 68 degrees and draw a line connecting two marks. Now it's time to lay out the welderly location from the pipe end. I use a tape measure to mark these numbers and center punch them for drilling. I completed the layout and let me introduce a couple of more ways briefly. Another popular way is to use a 5 center finder tool. It is very convenient and time saving and easy to use. As you see, place the tool and center punch when it is leveled. Not only the center, you can mark any angle. I will show you how to mark 45 degrees for a reference. The last method is to use a height gauge. Many five feeders and welders may not be familiar with this tool, but it is very accurate and easy to use. I bought this one from a retired machinist at 50 bucks, and it is one of my favorite tools. As you may guess from its name, we have to find the height to lay out with this tool. Let's take a look at my sketch again. I have already shown you how to find the pipe center and the other two welderly locations using a square, a level, and a circumference tape measure. This time, let's take a look at the right triangle heights A and B. If you can calculate the height, it is just a piece of cake to mark the layout line with this height gauge. Can you calculate it? Yes, it is so easy. Now we have a height for A and B. Set the height gauge and just describe it. What is the first thing to do? You have to make a level. By the center line is on the top and the pipe is leveled, so it's good to go. Let's mark the right angle height A. Its height is 0.585 from the pipe center. Get your gauge, touch the top of the pipe, and set everything zero. The pipe OD is 4 inches, and the half is 2 inches. So I will lower the gauge 2 inches down and set everything zero again. Raise the gauge to 0. 585. How is it? It is bang on. The line was made when I laid out using the circumference tape. Now we can confirm with the height gauge. Both ways are very accurate. What you have to do is just describe it. For better visibility, I use the layout die mostly. 
This is all I have prepared for today's episode. Please make an effort to improve your layout and fabrication skills too, as well as welding skills. I am 100% sure it will be an opportunity to broaden your horizons and to have better chances for your future career. Thanks for watching and see you next week.